Lesson 4.2, adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. Our essential question, how do you add, subtract, and multiply polynomials? Now we're being asked to multiply polynomials. So we can multiply this any method that you would like. This first one, I'm going to go ahead and do it the distributive property, which means this 2x to the second power needs to get multiplied to everybody in the second parenthesis. So 2x squared times 2x to the third, so 2 times 2 is 4, x to the second times x to the third is x to the fifth. You end up adding their exponents when you're multiplying exponents together. 2x squared times a negative x squared is a negative 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times a 3x is a positive 6x to the third. And 2x squared times 5 is a negative 10x squared. Combining like terms, there are no other like terms to combine. So this is your final answer and you are done. I right, go ahead and solve this other problem using the area model. When I have large polynomials being multiplied to large polynomials, it's easier for me to do it using the area model because then I guarantee I don't lose track of things. So the first parenthesis is the first side. There are three terms, which means I need to break that side into three parts. The x to the fourth term, the negative 10x squared term, and the positive 25 term. The second parenthesis represents the second side. Since this parenthesis has three terms, this side also needs to be broken up into three parts. The 3x squared term, the negative 6x term, and the minus 1 term. Now that we have our sides arranged, we're going to do the area model, so we're just multiplying. x to the fourth times 3x to the third is 3x to the sixth, because you add them together. x to the fourth times negative x squared is a negative 6x to the fifth x to the fourth times negative one is a negative x to the fourth. Now we're going to do negative 10 x squared. Negative 10 x squared times three x to the second is a negative 30 x to the fourth. Negative 10 x squared times negative six x is a positive 60 x to the third. Negative 10 x squared times a negative one is a positive 10 x squared. Now it's 25's turn. 25 times 3x to the second is 75x squared. 25 times a negative 6x is a negative 150x. 25 times negative 1 is a negative 25. Now we just need to make sure that we combine like terms accurately. And because they're kind of all over the board, we're just going to write them down. So we had a 3x to the sixth. We have to combine the fifth to the, there is no other fifth, so negative 6x to the fifth. Fourth goes with fourth, so we have a negative x to the fourth minus 30x to the fourth. Third is the only third, so plus 60x to the third. Seconds can only go with seconds, so we have a plus 10x squared plus 75x squared. X's can only go with X's, and constants can only go with constants. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there were 9 in there, so I have them all. So 3x to the sixth negative 6x to the fifth. Fourths can only go with fourths, so that's a minus 31x to the fourth. He is the only, that's a 31. He is the only x to the third. x squared can only go with x squared, so I have a plus 85x squared. X's can only go with x's, so that's a minus 150x, and the constant can only go with the constant. So we just went ahead and multiplied that using the area model. Now when I have a small polynomial multiplied by another small polynomial, I just use the distributive property. And remember, you can only do two parentheses at any given time. So this third one is going to have to come after. So x times x is an x squared. x times negative 2 is a negative 2x. The x is multiplied to everybody in the second, so the x is done. It's the one's turn. 1 times x is a positive x. 1 times negative 2 is a negative 2. This is our first answer. We have not done anything to the third parenthesis yet. So what is in our new parenthesis? x squared, combining the like terms, negative 2x plus x is a minus x. And now we have the second parenthesis we need to multiply to. Everybody in the first needs to multiply to everybody in the second. So x squared times x is an x to the third. x squared times 6 is a positive 6x squared. The x squared has multiplied to everybody in a second, so the x squared is done. X's turn. Negative x times x is a negative x squared. 
negative x times 6 is a negative 6x. The negative x has multiplied to everybody in the second, so he's done. It's a negative 2's turn. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times 6 is a negative 12. The negative 2 has multiplied to everybody in the second, so he's done. So we're done with everybody in the first because they have gone and multiplied to everybody in the second. So now we're just combining like terms. We have x to the third. x squared can only go with x squared, so that's a plus 5x squared. x's can only go with x's, so that's a minus 8x. And constants can only go with constants, so that is a minus 12. So we just went ahead and we multiplied those. Our last practice problem. Because I have three in a row, I need to do groups of two at any single time. Everybody in the first has to multiply to everybody in the second. So 2x times 6 is a positive 12x. 2x times negative x is a negative 2x squared. The 2x has multiplied to everybody in the second, so he's done. It's negative 6's turn. Negative 6 times 6 is a negative 36. Negative 6 times negative x is a positive 6x. The negative 6 has multiplied to everybody in the second, so he's done. We are done multiplying the entire first by the entire second. And whatever was left was our answer. We have the third parenthesis left that we need to do. So combining like terms, x's can only go with x's. So if I had 12 x's and I added 6 x's, I actually had 18 x's. x squareds can only go with x squareds. And constants can only go with constants. So there's me combining like terms for my first parenthesis. And now I need to multiply it with my second parenthesis. This is getting kind of big. And I don't want to lose things. So I'm going to go ahead and do the area model with it right now. So this first parenthesis goes on the first side. Because there are three terms, I'm going to split it into three sides. The 18x, the negative 2x squared, and the negative 36. Second parenthesis goes on the second side. Because he has two terms, it's going to have two sides. Term 4 and term negative 5x. So now we're going to multiply. 8x times 4 is a 72x. 18x times a negative 5x is a negative 90x squared. Negative 2x squared times 4 is a negative 8x squared. Negative 2x squared times a negative 5 is a positive 10x to the third. Negative 36 times 4 is a negative 144. Negative 36 times a negative 5x is a positive 180x. And now we're just going to combine like terms. I see that I have a 72x minus a 90x squared minus an 8x squared plus a 10x to the third minus 144 plus 180x. My x's are only allowed to go with my other x's. So I have 252x. My x squareds can only go with my x squared, so I have a negative 98x squared. There is no other x to the third, and there is no other constant. Now I just need to make sure it's in standard form, because I actually haven't been doing that. The highest exponent is supposed to go first. If he's a 3, the exponent of a 2 is supposed to go next. Exponent of a 1 is supposed to go next, and then with no exponent goes last. So this is my final answer, multiplying. The last page has four practice problems I would like you to do for please for independent practice.